Okay, so I guess this part here is the start of in between interface failovers, which we do with the load balancing utility, which can be used for additional load balancing between interfaces, but in this case, we're just going to use to create policies for interfaces to fail over to other interfaces based on certain conditions. So in this case, set LAN. I know we could work with this. We're going to set it up so if the WAN C interface goes down, default traffic will then move to the Wi Fi interface. So we can set that up in load balancing for our first interface is WAN C. We'll enable tracking and track it based on. So the tracking is what's used to determine if the link is up or down. We will use, in this case, a global DNS server and the ping timeout, ping interval, and failure interval can all be configured in this uh, configuration. Um, a metric has to be configured for the interface. So now both interfaces have a metric. Go back to load balancing. Added, be enabled, use the same tracking. Save that. Make sure this is enabled. For each interface, a policy has to be created. So we can plug the LAN C P for policy. Metric of one. So that's our default. Do the same thing for Wi Fi. And policy still default to one. So now we'll create a policy that says by default use the WAN C as the main interface. There we will use WAN C and WAN P. And if we cannot use either, then we'll set this to be unreachable. For our rules, we will say that fault main so all traffic will use this it's too long so we'll say all traffic going to all hosts all ports will use the way C main policy. Oh, 
a rule defines what traffic is following a specific policy. So that's kind of how it builds up. It goes a rule matches traffic and then a policy is how that traffic is routed, whether it's when C is main, when Wi-Fi is main, if it's 50-50, then the members define what, how those different options for the policy get used. So that's what actually defines the metrics and the weight. So we actually would want this WAN P to have a metric of two. And then in status, there's a load balancing status page that shows both are online. Right now they're both online. We can see the detail of this line. And this is showing, okay, because they're both online, WAN C is getting 100% of the traffic because WAN C is our main interface in this case. So what we can do is we can stop WAN C and we should see <clears throat> this change. So we go to network interfaces and we stop WAN C. Then all of our traffic will go through the Wi-Fi WAN interface instead. So we can see is offline, detail, Wi-Fi WAN is getting 100% of the traffic.